Link making moves. This is an important chart for anybody that's holding altcoins out there. I'm going to explain why in this video, but that's a pretty nice move in the last, this is a weekly chart, but the last few days, like almost 40% or so to the upside. I want to break down targets, namely on the daily chart that you see here. We're going to talk about targets to the upside. If there is a retracement, where's the support? What's going on with Link? Why is it even happening? How does it apply to other altcoins? I'm also going to talk about ADA in this video. I want to zoom in on not only the weekly, but the daily ADA approaching a really, really key area it might have a breakout of its own, this trend line, this upper trend line breakout that we've been monitoring. So hit the subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, hit that like button on the way in. It truly does mean a lot to me. And let's just, let's dig into the video. I tweeted this. This was earlier in the month, October 2nd, 20 days ago. We were talking about link hitting over bought. Uh, the previous seven days, a similar move has happened. Link has fallen or previous seven times a similar move. Link has fallen to the lower end of a channel, anticipating a potential downside from this, this overbought area. The thing is, though, we, we discuss upside too. If that trend doesn't continue, what happens at the trend line to the upside? If it gets broken, the bulls break it. If bulls can manage to step back in and finally break out of the channel, and that's like a year and a half long channel, I believe, such a long channel, then there's a 40% target to around $12. And when I tweeted that, it was around $7. 77 cents. Now here we are sitting above $10 because if we look at this, that trend line, that upper trend line, and I, I, I like this trend line a little better, a little better than what I had in that post, meaning kind of just a lower high, very slightly lower high upper trend line. The trend line was broken though. If we zoom in, look at this, it was broken. So the bulls did step in. We had this resistance kind of coming back down a little bit and then boom, the bulls stepped in. Big deal for, for, for chain link. I actually want to talk about some fun fundamentals why Chainlink is looking so good, but 40% to the upside. Now, what I want to discuss before we get to a, a couple targets is if there's a retracement, it's now in play to monitor this trend line as support now. No longer resistance, lower high resistance. Well, now it's support area. And this isn't a case where crypto is falling. It could be a red week. We never know what's going to happen in the headlines. We never know what's going to happen in general. But if, if, Link starts falling, and this is what altcoins do. I know, especially if you're a big, like, big time uh, link holder, you get these breakouts, and it, it does give you the sense, man, this is it's going to keep going because you have that long term vision, right? You're just kind of like, it's going to keep going, and in the long term, link is probably going to keep going, but there will be retracements, big drops on the shorter term. So, I would anticipate to the downside, eight to nine dollar support, not saying tomorrow, but it could trickle down to that area and it's something to really evaluate. We see that often, meaning breakout to the upside, consolidation, slow consolidation, support, and then we're getting our true move to the next target. This could be the case where Link is getting ready to do something crazy and get to its target a little bit quicker. The target to the upside, 13 to $14 out of this kind of, this uh, upper trend line, this channel that it has been in, but the other thing that's here, if you notice, there's kind of this inverse head and shoulders that was in formation. And it's a very big inverse head and shoulders. It got a little rejection. This neckline came down, broke the neckline, also a target of like $13 to $14 to the upside. So all in all, from the beginning of October, $7 something, right? $7 and change. And we're talking about targets of $13 to $14. That's almost a double, right? That we're talking about in a relatively short amount of time. This entire consolidation area has been all the way since that capitulation in May. This is a very long time, like a year and a half of just up and down, a lot of volatility. The thing with Chainlink is, I want to bring this up real quick because this, this is something to pay attention to on the macro. Chainlink has so much upside for this next bull market. Chainlink, the core infrastructure that capital markets needs to advance tokenization. We're talking about the tokenization of capital markets, everybody. That's what Chainlink uh, is is that's the use case here that's huge especially with the direction that the entire crypto space is going and the adoption of it from an institutional standpoint Chainlink has successfully enabled over 8 trillion in transaction value for blockchain applications Chainlink ccip enables a tokenized asset to become available on any blockchain transforming it from a single chain asset to an any chain asset Chainlink has so many use cases it's going to be a huge piece of our crypto journey, whether we hold link or not. I, I just truly think that. And so this is what the chart looks like, obviously making some moves. Don't, this isn't advice, but this is me speaking to myself. 
Don't let volatility fool you to the downside. It's what cryptos do. And, and a segue from that is this is what cryptos do. If you hold other altcoins and you don't hold Link, I want to tell you something. That, and I've been in this space for quite a long time now. Altcoins take turns. There's probably a lot of people out there like, why is, I mean, we're going to talk about Ada in a second. Why is Ada not moving? I'm going to get comments on this. Why is Ada not moving? Ada's done. Ada did good last cycle. It's done. This is how crypto works, everybody. Altcoins take turns. So when we see altcoins start taking off one by one, it's good to pay attention. It's good to root. Even if you don't hold link, it's good to root for these breakouts. It is a sign of something happening in the markets. And the other thing that's a sign of something happening in the markets is what's happening with Bitcoin dominance. We're going to pivot to ADA in just a second, but I do want to just show you this chart. Now that altcoins, they're, and I don't know how this week is going to go, but altcoins moving a little bit. I'm taking very strong notice of the fact that Bitcoin dominance right at this 50 month moving average, this was a very similar area of resistance prior to the last Bitcoin having. Bitcoin started trickling down at that 50 month moving average. Are we going to get a similar type of deal? And this time around, Bitcoin around 50% dominance. Last time around, it was around 70%. And the time around that, before that, it was around 90%. Bitcoin dominance on the downtrend. That is big for altcoins. Link, ADA, whatever altcoins you hold. So here's where we are in ADA. I wanted to just kind of discuss something happening. Uh, number one on the weekly, that is this. We have, I believe this, this is a 50-week, um, uh, not, not a 50-week. It's a MACD line crossing the signal line on the weekly. It's a very big deal. Link, actually, I don't have the chart up, but link on the weekly, the MACD above zero on the histogram. Link showing some moves. What we're ultimately looking for with ADA on this weekly chart is the same type of thing. MACD line getting above that, that green, uh, I'm sorry, zero on the histogram and these green candles on the histogram just starting to make some moves. That's what Link is doing right now. What could be the case for that to happen? Well, we've been talking about it. We just started talking about it. It is this area right here, this breakout area. Link had its breakout, right? And this would be a very similar move for ADA if it's able to make the move to the upside, this upper trend line right around 27 cents. Now, what I want to point out, if we go over here on the daily momentum, oscill momentum oscillators, is just the very fact that, and ADA holders are not going to like this. I don't like it, but... ADA is hovering right below this lower trend line. We have the RSI right here. This is a slower moving momentum oscillator. RSI starting to, on the daily, right now, this is brand new daily candle, right? So this is very volatile right now, depending on if it's at 0.263 or 0.265 is the direction of this. But if ADA is about to kind of just pivot down, similar to what it did, you know, beginning of October and start pivoting down, what's in play for this setup, and then we're going to talk about breakout to the upside, what's in play for this setup is just very simply not only just testing, obviously, this next area of support. It's a 50-day moving average, 20-day moving average, right in this area, like 25 cents. But it's really, if there's going to be a dip in markets, it's trending down to the lower trend line, the lower 20-cent area. 22 cents is, is basically the target to that lower trend line. And this would just be another lower low. So I say that because we really need to prepare ourselves. We're not out of the woods yet. I've been tracking this red rectangle that you see ADA trading in. In terms of the last cycle, ADA kind of more bottomed right after this red rectangle. And actually, if we go back real quick, you can see what that looks like. It bottomed, right? So the case is there for that to happen again before ADA gets its power move. But one thing that I do know is I truly think that ADA is going to get its power move. It's just a matter of when, right? So I'm not sure it's ready to break this trend line. One thing that I do know, though, is if it does break the trend line, that's a, that's a different type of bullish confirmation that we're waiting for. And right now, if you just look at the, the chart on ADA, we're looking at around from that upper trend line. It's just a few percent away. That's, that's, that's like a nothing move for ADA if it is going to happen. So that's really what I'm tracking for ADA. It's, it's anticipating downside. It's what we do. But it's also looking to the upside uh, breakout area around a two to three percent range. The resistance there around twenty seven cents. The breakout target to the upside is around forty one cents. If ADA is ultimately to reach that target, we're looking at fifty plus percent gains for ADA. So the reason I'm bringing that up is because we have a really nice just use case of what Link is doing right now. Right, 
let's say link hits its target from its breakout. We're looking at 80%, 80 plus percent gains. If link is going to hit its target, target, this is a time where altcoins might shine. However, I can't say this enough. And I underline this entire video. I highlight this entire video with the fact that of targets, the upside don't happen overnight. There could be falls back down before hitting targets. This is, this is a longer term pattern. So we have to have kind of longer term thinking. This isn't like an hourly chart here where this is going to happen in a, a day or two. So link targets the upside. We see what it is. Target to the downside. If there's going to be some type of crypto fall, crypto crash, right? Eight to nine dollars to the downside for for support, and ADA twenty two cents for support. If there's going to be some type of crash, let's see what happens. Don't even want to think about it, but let's see how this week goes. But we see what's happening with ADA. This is what I'll be watching tonight. Is kind of what's happening at the upper trend line. Can ADA get a breakout again? It's such a little move to get to twenty seven cents. It's like twenty six and a half cents right now, everybody. If it can just manage to get to 27, 27 and a half cents, we might start seeing a little bit of a breakout towards 30 cents for ADA, which is a very big deal in the daily because just above that area around 31 cents is a 200 day moving average. This is all part of the journey for ADA to shift around back into bull mode. Again, taking all things into account, taking timeline into perspective. It might not happen. It might not happen this week. And if it doesn't, that's okay, but this is what I'm tracking going into this new week for ADA from a technical analysis perspective. Everything else happening with DeFi and all that good stuff, absolutely awesome. So good foundation for this shift to bull market, but we're going to track it and see. Everybody, I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great start to your week. Hit that like button on the way out. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.